Hi friends, Miss Davis here reading from my house. I'm so excited to get to share this experience with you and read the story for the week, which is called Hen and Mule. So um, before we start reading, there's some things that I wanna think about and I wanna look at. So first, I wanna look down over here at our alpha friends. We have our long O and our long U. So remember, vowels, which are A, E, I, O, U, they can make a short sound, which is the sounds that we've learned in the alphabet, like A would be A. And then they also can be long vowels, and that's when the letter says its name. So as we're reading today, I want you to be thinking about when you hear the long O and the long U being used. Then we have some words to know. So um, these are our see it, know it words. And when you see these words in our text, you should be able to know them right away because there are see it, know it words. And, you know, they don't really follow a lot of rules that words follow. And so you should just be able to see them and really know them. Let's go over them together. So the first one is the word home, H-O-M-E. Even there in that word, I hear a long O, Ohm, and I even see a sneaky E telling that O to say his name. So that word is home. Then we have the word like, many, and right. So those are all words to know that we might see in our story today. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the title here, hen and mule. And I can see the word and is one of our old see it note words. So I was able to look at that word and know it right away. I hope you were too. All right. So as I'm reading this story, you are lucky to be able to follow along because in your packet this week, we sent home this book with you. So as you're reading at home or listening at home, I will be reading and we're going to take a couple of stops and ask and answer some questions, maybe with the grown up or brother or sister that's sitting next to you. So here we go. I'm going to read the title one more time. Hen and Mule. This story is written by Brian, Brian Lang, Lando and illustrated by Marcus Cutler. So remember, the author is the person who wrote the words to this story, and then the illustrator is the person who designed these awesome pictures. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> so you can follow along with your reading fingers because we know that good readers always point to the words. All right. Hen and mule have a home. It sits on a wide lane. All right, so I'm going to pause right there already, and I want you to be thinking in your head, who are the two characters that we've met in this story already? Remember, characters can be people like humans, they can be animals, or they can be creatures. So, Hmm, who are the two characters that we've met already? All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn my page. All right. <clears throat> Vans zip right past it. Fumes puff from cabs. Too many fumes, yells Mule. Hen pokes at her snack. Do you like this home, mule? I do not, hen. Hmm. So here's my next question for you. Who doesn't like their home? And why? Why don't they like this home that they're in right now? So go ahead and take a second to think about that with the grown-up or the brother or sister or older person who's um, reading this with you. Think, who doesn't like their home? And why do they not like it? All right, let's keep going. Mule spots an ad. Check out this cute home, hen. Hmm, what does mule show hen? Think about that and then be able to answer. What does mule show hen? All right, I'm gonna keep going. It sits on a slope, hen. No vans or cabs pass it. I like 
blanket mule states hen. Hmm, why do you think that mule, I'm sorry, why do you think that hen likes this home? Why do you think that hen likes this home? All right, let's keep going. All right, last page. Get big bins, hen. Get tape. Get rope. We will pack up and go to the cute home. Hmm, what does mule tell hen to go get? Think about that with the person who's reading along with you. What does mule tell hen to go get? All right, boys and girls, so that was the first reading of our story, Hen and Mule. I hope that you enjoyed listening along and thinking about those questions. Tomorrow, during your second reading, you'll be able to interact with the book even more, be thinking about the phonics pattern for this week, and remember to practice those see-it-know-it words so you really, really super know them when you're reading. All right, bye, guys.